U.S. Justice Department plans to let thousands of nonviolent federal prisoners out early in an attempt to reduce overcrowding and rein in the country's ever-expanding prison population. Nationwide, about 6,000 nonviolent drug offenders will be set free between October 30th and November 2nd, the largest one-time release of prisoners in U.S. history. About two-thirds of them will be put in halfway houses or confined to their homes before release while the rest are foreign citizens who will be deported. The early releases come a year after the U.S. Sentencing Commission voted unanimously to reduce punishments for drug crimes and make the change retroactive. Thanks to this ruling, about 46,000 of the U.S.'s 100,000 drug offenders in federal prisons could qualify for early release, while only about 6,000 will be set free at the end of this month. Another 8,550 prisoners could be eligible for early release by November 1, 2016. Under the new rules, an average of about two years is being removed from eligible prisoners' sentences. According to Sally Yates, Deputy Attorney General, even with the Sentencing Commission's reductions, drug offenders will have served substantial prison sentences. She added that these reductions are not automatic. Under the Commission's directive, federal judges are required to carefully consider public safety in deciding whether to reduce an inmate's sentence. Despite the large number of federal prisoners to be set free, it's paltry compared to the more than 2 million people locked up nationwide. Still, it's a start, and coupled with other responsible legislation, like a bipartisan bill introduced in the Senate last week to reduce mandatory minimum drug sentences, the number of nonviolent offenders in U.S. prisons should begin to decline in coming years.